sees Santa. Fred, said Mother, go to bed. It is almost time for Santa Claus to bring your presents. I want to stay awake, said Fred. I want to see him. Mother gave up. Fred waited for Santa. He started feeling sleepy. So, he went to the kitchen. He thought about eating Santa's cookies. But then he knew that would not be right. So, he picked an apple. Then, he noticed the cookies and the glass of milk on the table had gone. Santa Claus is here, shouted Fred. He ran to the living room. He saw that the Christmas tree had loads of presents beneath it. Then he caught sight of a red suit going up the chimney. Fred ran outside. He saw eight reindeers and Santa Claus waving to him. Merry Christmas! called Santa from the sleigh. Go to bed now, Fred. Go and get some sound sleep. I will, wave Fred. Merry Christmas, Santa! The Beggar Once there was a beggar. On Christmas Eve, he went to the village headman's house, hoping to get money. The headman had gone to meet the king to ask for grants. When the beggar came to know about it, he thought, If the village headman is taking help from him, I should ask the king for arms. On his way, the beggar saw a large crowd outside a church. When he inquired, he found that the king was praying to God to keep his treasury full at all the time. Now the beggar thought, God is richer than the king. I had better approach God instead. So he went before God. God, you are the richest. Please show kindness and give me generously, said the beggar. God said, Dear child, you should earn your living with hard work. I promise you will always have enough money. The beggar understood God's message. He stopped begging. Sick Haley Once there lived a little girl named Haley. She had many friends. Sadly, she fell sick on Christmas. She could not go out to enjoy with her friends now. Haley did not have the energy to even get up and walk. But when her friends came to know about her illness, they came to her house. They brought beautiful gifts, flowers and books for her. Some of them even sat at her bedside and read out stories to her. They also brought a small Christmas tree for her. Then they put up a play for her showing the birth of the baby Jesus. Haley already started feeling better. Later, they had the plum cake and other tasty treats. After a few days, 
she could get up and sit on her bed. Soon Haley's health improved. She thanked her friends for it was because of their help that she got better. It is good to have friends. Christmas Pie I do not feel very well, Martha. I am lying down, said Grandmother. Okay, said Martha. I will finish cleaning up the kitchen. You are such a good little girl. Thank you, said Mother. Just then, her sister John came there. Where is Grandmother? asked John. She is sleeping. She was not feeling good, said Martha. But who will make the Christmas pie? asked John. Martha said, I will. And she started making the pie. John complete the whole time Martha was making the pie. Martha put the pie into the oven. John sat and watched it. Her mouth was watering. You did a wonderful job. That looks amazing, said Grandmother when Martha took the pie out to let it cool. Once the pie had cooled, Martha sliced it up and gave a slice to John. She really loved it. Merry Christmas, said Martha happily. Mother also enjoyed eating the delicious pie. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Bookhouse.